are you going to say about it? I mean, it's the best thing you want to buy with corn dogs. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be looking today at the Dan Wesson ECO chambered in 45 caliber. Now, I'm very partial to this gun because this one actually is my each and every day carry gun. And you know, a lot of things for me go into the idea of what gun do I wanna carry? And a big part of it, I need that gun, I want that gun to be able to draw fast, but I want it to be able to shoot extremely well. This is a 3.5 inch barrel, and, and if you've ever shot a three inch 45 and thought it was really snarky, you'll be surprised how much of a difference that half an inch makes. Um, the gun definitely has a hard hand feel, but nowhere near as sharp as a lot of other guns. I still, still think it's extremely manageable. They put a big bell barrel on it. They have great checkering on the gun. It's very comfortable, very fast, and very accurate. I was really excited about this gun when, when Dan Wesson came out with this at SHOT Show a, a few years back. It was kind of the beginning of the end for a, a different member of, of my 1911 collection. I had an officer sized gun for a long time and I carried it for a long time. But this, this hybrid size of, of officer, uh, being a, a standard officer frame with a little longer barrel, they have different balance characteristics, which really intrigues me. And they still use a, uh, a single rate uh, flat coil spring. So they have a longer uh, service life out of this gun. So you can, you can put some serious rounds through it. Which, I, think, uh, I think Dan Weston says 15,000. Yes. Yeah. That's a lot. That is a, a lot of rounds. For a little carry gun. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, so I, I was really excited about it, and I'll, I'll probably end up with one of these eventually someday. Um, and it's, it's really a no holds barred gun for, for was it 1600? Yeah, it's right around there. 1600. Yeah. You get a bull barrel. You get uh, a nitride like finish. Um, really good grips and excellent trigger. This is, uh, this is really a really solid gun for me. I was really excited to shoot it, and uh, I was really happy with the results. It's, it's definitely a, a sweet shooter. Okay, so um, yeah, I've been dying to try this too. I mean, Mike's been carrying this since I've known him and um, and I've wanted to know why. So uh, uh, go ahead and watch the footage of me shooting real quick. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> All right, so um, the, when the first round goes off on this gun, uh, you'll, I don't know if we can see it for sure in the video, but um, I, I was surprised by it, mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and it was. Yeah. I had a lot of a lot of uh, recoil out of it, a lot of muzzle flip for me. Um, but for whatever reason, it kept coming back and back and back to the sight picture really mm -hmm. comfortably. So even though it was um, more aggressive than I expected it or wanted it to be, <laughs> it continued to find its way back to the target. And I keep kept hitting stuff. So mm -hmm. it was, I mean. You know that's a good trade-off, I suppose. You know, so you've got a really hard-hitting round and a very small, very light package that continually hits stuff. I mean, that's a you can't really say any negative. Um, but in my experience, compared to other 1911s I've shot, um, this was not my favorite. Mm -hmm. So I, I did. It's a really great gun, and anybody would be, um, you know, served very well by owning this piece. Um, but it did make a decision for me uh, in a in a this smaller 1911 that I'm looking at, um, this one just got crossed off the list for me. Mm -hmm. I will still give it, uh, probably, I'll still probably give it a thumbs up. I gotta think okay. about that while Kate talks, but um, yeah. There's, there's also a nine millimeter there's a nine millimeter. Yeah. Well, that that's, so that's what I was gonna of. bring up. Um, you know, I, I think if I was gonna get this gun, I'd be getting the nine mil. And, and like Mark, that first round going off was kind of a shock. You know, um, and I felt like it came back down decently on each shot, but I don't, I didn't feel like I could shoot it very fast. Yeah. You know, so I don't, I don't think I could, uh, you know, do a mag dump too quickly with this gun without just going all over the place. So for me, it would have to be the nine millimeter version. I also had a failure to feed on it, but um, that was with some, some full size mags. And, yeah, and that, uh, and that has been a consistent experience with me with this gun is with the longer magazines, uh, failure to feed has been a pretty common issue with it. And with Wilson mags and with really quality magazines, mm -hmm. I don't think this gun likes anything sticking out of its tail. Mm -hmm. so, we've seen that across, goes, right? seen that across <laughs> other platforms yeah, too as you well. Bet, you not, bet. not just 1911s, not just this one. Yeah, a lot of times when you start running extended magazines, you know, the, it just doesn't balance well, it doesn't it doesn't hang well, and, and so you end up with feed problems. And hmm. that definitely happens with this gun, for sure. I really do like a lot of the features that they put on this gun. They, they do a lot of things on this gun that you don't see outside of, typically outside of the mm -hmm. high-end Custom House 1911s. I mean, they have the tri-cut slide, so you've got these nice angles on the side, serrated top of the slide, 
ball end mill cuts. I mean, it's it's just a lot of really nice features that you know you don't expect, uh, uh, you know, with a gun that costs less than two grand. So, which is, which is really what cool. Dan Wesson's built their their name on is giving you semi custom features at, yeah. at a production price. So. Yeah. And I also want to say I love the the Heine sights. Yeah. So this has the straight eight sights where you've just got a single dot on the rear, and uh, they I, I really liked them. Then. Yeah, that was With a big the ledge, part of, yeah, that was just a big in case. Part of why the thing came back on target so quick for me. Yeah, the uh, sights uh, are perfect. Yeah. You know, a forty five in a small in a small package is a whomping around. Yeah. I mean, it definitely is a whomping around, and and I I like it because I and I really kind of pride myself on not being a recoil whore, but I guess I, I must be one at some <laughs> level. Uh, but I really, for me, I've gotten really used to it because I've shot it so much, but yeah. it is it is a lot of, it is a lot. And it, and I've shot a lot of other 1911s that I like more than this gun yeah. too, yeah. but they're four and a quarter inch, five inch or, or longer yeah. guns and guns I wouldn't be comfortable carrying. And I'll tell you something, as far as drawing this gun and hitting that safety, yep. this thing just pops out of the hose. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it, it really pops out fast. and. Cool. and very natural hit on that safety, and yeah. that's what I really like about it as a carry gun. And it conceals well because it has a round butt frame. It's yes, another yep. feature. Very, and that makes yeah. it very comfortable. Like even though it has a lot of recoil, it doesn't have that sharp point on it, mm -hmm. so it doesn't. It yeah, doesn't, it doesn't bite dig into your palm. Yeah. 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 What do you think, boss? I I, I gotta say I, I love this gun, but I didn't love shooting it. I give it a meh. If it was the nine mil version, I'd probably be giving it a solid thumbs up. Yeah. Um, so my intended uh, function for this would be an everyday carry piece. In the, and so I'm gonna rate it in the 45, just as it sits right here, and for me too, it was a man. Um, I, I think anybody would be well served by owning this gun, so I don't wanna like tarnish its overall, it's a really quality mm -hmm. package yeah. for what it is, um, but for me, I'm gonna go man. When when you start making like full-size guns, compact guns, the, the small stuff really starts to matter, and I think Dan Wesson really, really kept uh, kept the recipe right, and they, they got a lot of things right in this gun. I'd say it's a solid thumbs up, and I will, I will definitely own one. Uh, and for me, it's my baby. I mean, I've shot this in, I've shot this in snow. I've shot it in rain. I've shot it in cold and heat. I've shot it laying on the ground. Stop chasing the post. Sitting man. upside down. I've shot it. You know, I've shot it. I've shot it from sitting. Shot it out of my car. You know, it just, it's done everything I've wanted for it. And with the with the factory mags in it, it has run absolutely flawless for me. Probably, I probably have close to 2,000, 2,500 rounds through it. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so solid thumbs up cool. for anybody else in this gun. You can't have it. This one is mine.